Max. We are playing at being you and father. A little less noise there. Now let us pretend we have a baby. I'm happy to inform you, Mrs. Garland, that you are now a mother. You missed the chief thing. You haven't asked boy or girl. I'm so glad to have one at all. I don't care which it is. That is just the difference between gentlemen and ladies. Now you tell me. I am happy to inform you, Mr. Darling, that you are now a father. Boy or girl? Girl. <laughs> Tuts. <laughs> I am happy to inform you, Mr. Darling, that you are now a father. Boy or girl? Boy. Mommy, it's hateful of him. <laughs> now, John, have me. You don't want any more. Am I not to be a boy at all? Two is enough. Come, John. Boy, John, nobody wants me. <laughs> I do. Boy or girl? Boy. <laughs> oh, here you are, Mary. What is the matter, George, dear? This tie, it will not tie. Not round my neck. Round the bedpost, oh yes, twenty times have I made it up round the bedpost. But round my neck, oh dear no, it begs to be excused. Say it again, Paula, say it again. A little less noise there. <laughs> I warn you, Mary, that unless this tie is round my neck, we don't go out to dinner tonight. And if we don't go out to dinner tonight, I never go to the office again. And if I never go to the office again, you and I starve, and our children will be flung into the streets. Let me try, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yay! A little less noise there. <laughs> Mother, how did you get to know me? A little less noise there. <laughs> At what time was I born, Mother? At two o'clock in the night, I dear. Oh, Mother, I hope I didn't wake you. Where are the sleepers, <laughs> There is not their equal on earth, and there are ours, ours. <laughs> but we do need to get rid of that dark Nana. George, we must keep Nana. I will tell you why. My dear, when I came to this room tonight, I saw a face at the window. A face at the window? Three floors up? Pooh. It was the face of a little boy who was trying to get in. George, this is not the first time I've seen that boy. Oh, and no. The first time was a week ago. It was made as night out, and I had been drowsing there by a fire. But then I thought the draft was the window were open. I looked around, and I saw that boy in the room. In the room? I screamed. She said Nana came and sprang at him at once. The boy left for the window. But she pulled the sash down, but it was too late to catch him. I thought so. Wait. The boy escaped, but a shadow had not time to get out. Down came the window and cut it clean off. It is nobody I know, but she does look like a scoundrel. <laughs> I think he comes back to play shadow, George. I have not told you all. The boy was not alone the first time. He was accompanied by, I don't know how to describe it, by a ball of light no bigger than my fist. But it darted around the room like a living thing. What can all this mean? What indeed? <laughs> Nana's barking in the yard. She is upset to be chained up, Father. That is not Nana's unhappy bark. That's her bark, which smells danger. Danger? Are you sure, Wendy? Is oh, any yes. Is anything there? All quite quiet and still. Oh, how I wish I was not going out to dinner tonight. Is anything harmless, Mother, after the night lights are lit? Nothing, precious. There are the eyes of Mother leaves behind to guard her sleeping children. Now into your beds, my darlings. See you good night, Mom.
You see, Wendy, we have no female companionship. Are none of the other children girls? Oh, no. Girls are much too clever to fall out of their parents. <laughs> I think it's perfectly lovely the way you talk about girls, Peter. John, they're just a spy with us. <laughs> you are wicked! You are not Captain here! <laughs> Peter, why did you come to our nursery window? To hear stories. None of us know any stories. How perfectly awful! Wendy, you see, your mother was telling the most wonderful story. Really? What story was it? About the prince who couldn't find the girl who wore the glass slipper. Oh, that was Cinderella. He found her and they lived happily ever after. I am glad. Peter, where are you going? Tell the other girls. Peter, don't go. Oh, I, I know lots of other stories. Oh, the stories I can tell the other boys. Wendy, come with me. Oh, how we should all respect you. You could tuck us in at night and make pockets for us. None of us have any pockets. Oh, dear, I mustn't speak of mother. <laughs> Checkbook of my own. 
I don't know what a checkbook is, but I should just love to give my mother one. <laughs> my father was fonder of me than your mother's were of you. Yeah, right! Yeah. Oh, yes, she was. Peter had to make up names for you, but my mother wrote my name on a pen before I ever lost him. Lightly soiled. That's my name. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, it's a pirate's life for me! Let's go, Captain! Let's back that pistol first. Just one of those boys you take. I could have shot him sick! Aye, and the sound would have brought Ty and Lily's redskins on us. Do you want to lose your scalp? True. Should I tickle him with Johnny Corstro? Johnny is a silent fellow. Not now. He's only one. And I want to mischief all the seven. We must look for them. But most of all, I want their captain, Peter Pan. Twas he that cut off me hand. Oh, I would love to shake his hand with this. Oh, I'll tear him! Yes! I have often heard you say that your hook would run the star of hand! If I were a mother, I would pray to have my children born with this instead of that. <laughs> <laughs> a chimney! Lux me! Just playing they live here, under the ground! Underground plan, Captain! I must think. Play, you dogs! What tempo, Captain? A tango! A tango! <laughs> we'll cook a cake quite large. Fill each layer in between. With an icing mixed with a poison. Till it turns a tempting green. We'll place it near the house. Which <coughs> will the boys sure to come. You're not 
have seen her? A wonderful day. Peter, I will show her to you. Stand back, all, and let Peter see. Wendy, with an arrow in her heart, Wendy is dead. I thought it was only flowers that die. Perhaps she is, perhaps she is frightened at being dead. Whose arrow? Mine, Peter. Oh, dastard man! Strike, Peter, strike true. I cannot strike. There is something that stays my hand. Tis she, the Wendy lady. See her arm? I think she said, poor Toodles. She lives! The Wendy lady lives! She said that? <laughs> now listen, Tink. You are my friend no more. Be gone forever. She is fine. She says she is your friend. Okay, not forever. For a whole week. <laughs> <laughs> now what shall we do with Wendy? Let us carry her into the house. Aye, that is what we're doing with Lady. You mustn't touch her. It wouldn't be sufficiently respectful. That is what I was thinking. But if she lies there, she'll die. Let us build a house around her. Seize the boy. 
boys? I'm sorry. I mean, we will kidnap the boys and make them walk the plank, and then Wendy shall be our mother. What say you, sweet? Here, bye, candidate. And there's my puck. Swear. Oh, but I had forgot. Where's Tiger Lily? He's all right, Captain. I let her go. Let her go? What your own orders, Captain? Brimstone and gall, it's cozening is here. I gave no such order. Tis passing queer. Spirit that haunts this dark forest night. Dost hear me? Ah, it's fogs, hammers, and tongs. I hear you. <laughs> Who are you, stranger? Speak. I am Hook. If you are Hook, come tell me, who am I? A codfish. Only a codfish. <laughs> Have we been captain all this time by a codfish? It is lowering to our crime. Don't desert me, Smee. Stranger, have you another name? Aye, aye. Vegetable? No. Mineral? No. Animal? No. I mean, yes. Man? No. Boy? Yes. Ordinary boy? No! Wonderful boy? Yes. <laughs> Are you in England? No. Are you here? Yes. It's me, you asking for questions. <laughs> <laughs> can't think of a thing. Ah, can't guess, can't guess. Do you give up? Uh, yes. Well then, I am Peter Pan. It's me, take him dead or alive. Boys, attack him!
gentleman. I wish you had been a lady. I wish you had been a white rat. Gosh, <laughs> there was also a lady. The gentleman's name was Mr. Darling, and the lady's name was Mrs. Darling. I knew them. I think I, I knew them. And they had three children. And all the children flew away. They flew to Neverland, where the lost boys lived. I thought they did. I don't know how I knew, but I thought they did. Oh, Wendy, was one of the lost boys called Toodles? Yes, he was. Am I in a story? Nibs, I'm in a story! Look at that noise there. <laughs> now let us consider the feelings of the unhappy parents. But the children always knew that their mother would always leave the window open.
house, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> there is an old bed, Michael. I almost forgot. It is very careless of Mother not to be here when we get back. Uh, uh, who is that lady? It's your mother. Then you are really yeah. not her mother, Wendy? Oh dear, it was quite time to come back. Mother! Wendy, John, Michael, George, come quick! Our children have returned! Mother, father, we have brought them boys with us. They would like to stay. They do so need a mother. Come in, boys. <laughs> oh my dear, all of them? Wherever shall we put them all? We promised to be good. I can see through the drawer. Sir, please say oh, yes. Please say yes. Well, what's a few more? Oh, yes. And you can tuck us in at night and make pockets for us. 